All right, what is going on, guys? Today we are watching Rust Eater Bisco episode five. Um, I'm really excited for this episode. Last episode picked up so much compared to the previous episodes, and it makes me so much more excited for this season now. Um, currently, you're probably watching this on my second channel. Uh, this is just due to the fact that I'm having copyright issues currently on my main. Um, so if you're new to the channel, please go subscribe to my main channel. It's linked in the description. Also, if you're new to the channel uh, or you're from my main channel, please subscribe to this channel as well as I will likely be using it as a backup channel in the future once my main channel is back up and running. But yeah, anyway guys, as always, like the video if you like the video and subscribe to the channel if you are new. And let's go into this episode right now. What do those apartments look like? The ones Deku lives, <laughs> lived in with his mom. Jesus Christ, that was loud in my ear. <laughs> We're missing. Classic mafia. <laughs> Definitely. They're straight out of here, bro. <laughs> They're just gonna like shoot out of his hand or something. He's giving himself up, but not really. That's one way to stop getting shot at. What an amazing man. He just smiled at you. Is that a goddamn titan? It's literally all kids here. Where the hell did all the adults go? Oh, you think, Milo? You think? Ayo, what the fuck? Ayo, what the fuck? Hello? God, she's such a badass, bro. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. I'm not... Well, bugs, animals, giant. I'm liking them, but giant spiders, that's a no-go. She's literally superhuman. All rusted up and shit, too. Goddamn. Clam simmered in milk. <laughs> You're lucky this is Nakaboshi. He would have, like, put you on the floor by now. Milo's trustable, though. What is that on her hand? Some kind of disease, or...? That's not what Rustin looks like, right? Wait, so the people that wear the bunny masks are these people's parents? Yeah, I was gonna say, this isn't Rustin. Why do I feel like these guys are fishy? Wiped out? If he was doing his job, they're probably misinterpreter in this. Never take strange injections from strange men. What the fuck? There are definitely some different kinds of mushroom keepers then. But this gets a this gives a bad name to Bisco, not the hell. I guess these guys aren't, aren't fishy. I just got a weird fishy viper on them. <laughs> More. Damn, that milk and clams must be slapping them. God damn. What do you mean? <laughs> I mean, he could just wait until he's older. I keep thinking his name is Natsu, but his, he's saying nuts. <laughs> the fuck going on in here? What is this? What the fuck? Never mind. They are fishy. I completely read it correct. What the fucking fuck? Kill them. You'd be easy for you. Come on. Oh, and of course, whatever this drug is kicks him right now. <laughs> nice. To be fair, taking that from strangers is fishy as hell. The fuck is this like a zombie or something? Every episode of this show, I just have a bigger what-the-fuck vibe. What the hell are they doing now? Did they just kill themselves, or did they blow up the entrance? 
Oh, did Milo... <laughs> did he uh, heal the whatever it was? Nice. But a good mushroom keeper. Was it the one we saw in the flashback? Or maybe they were lying about that because they, they were fishy as hell. Did he just give him that even though he's supposed to be turning him into the authorities? Yeah. These kids are cool. I was gonna say, those chains are rusted as hell. You could just break out of them. Shell skin. Oh, okay. <laughs> he might be, not gonna lie. Yeah, you should. <laughs> they are different vibes. Oh, they're coming back. Maybe Akibashi could uh, take them down. And now there's giant flying blowfish. Nice. What the fuck? <laughs> that weird teeth. Ugh. You guys need to let Biss go out. Oh god, no. Oh, he took the harpoon. Nice. Oh shit, let's go, Bisco. Fuck yeah, Bisco is such a badass. <laughs> this motherfucker can't read, bro. Bro, I'm loving the craziness in this show so far. The animation too is really nice, considering this is the studio's first project. Hell yeah. What are those mushrooms? They look like iron mushrooms or something. Can you guys eat those fish now? Do you got some food? Bisco is such a cool dude. Nah. Gotta hit the road, kid. Oh, that's a nice message, I suppose. Yes, I was just thinking he needs to keep one of them. There was two, so he should keep one of them. Oh, that's good, the old man got away them. What the fuck is he doing? Oh, shit. Oh, because he was the only one standing up. All right, so that was uh, Rusty Tabisco episode five. Really enjoyed that episode. Uh, one thing I will mention about it is I feel like, for some reason, I feel like the pacing was a bit fast. I don't know. I don't know the source material. So I kind of feel like there was more to it that they just kind of squeezed down into the episode because I felt like that could have been longer. I feel like that maybe could have been an episode and a half. I don't know, but overall it was a very good episode. And again, I enjoyed the the weirdness of this series. Um, it's definitely fun to watch. And like I mentioned as well, the, the animation is actually really nice. Uh, it's definitely very creative and a, a good start in anime for this studio. Um, but yeah, overall a very good episode and I'm definitely looking forward to the next. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I certainly did. And I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a nice rest of your day and peace out.